hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a new a review of a new foundation from sephora um it's literally everywhere on youtube everyone is talking about it so i got curious and decided maybe i should pick a shade uh pick up one just to do a review for you guys um it's the new sephora best best skin ever foundation this is it I don't know if you knew or if any of you guys know that Sephora actually has their own line of makeup because normally when you go in Sephora, they try to sell you everything and everything besides Sephora brand, but they have their own lipstick, their own lip gloss, and now and, uh, their own foundation, setting powder, spray, and everything. So this is like their, their newest launch, um, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation, Long Wear natural finish foundation with anti-pollution so this is 25 milliliter 0.84 fluid ounce and um well it says medium to buildable coverage for the look of natural perfected skin now here's the problem right i went online you know sephora has an app to match you and um according to your current foundations and everything but when i went in store it actually was either darker or lighter for me so um they this this comes in 50 shades and um i wasn't really sure so since i'm a neutral golden olive undertone so um this is like the only one who had a little bit of yellow in it everything was either too gray too dark ashy like i am right now is the primer that's the primer making me look ashy. Um, so I decided to take a shade or choose a shade that has a little bit of yellow on them, under um, undertone, as you can see. Um, so this is the shade. This comes in 50 shades. And this is the shade 57Y. And um, this is the recommended brush for it. This is the Sephora foundation brush. And this is the brush that's recommended for the foundation. So... Um, yeah let's go ahead and run into that um let me let me do a swatch so you guys can see i'm not really sure like i said it might work it might not work if it doesn't work i'll take it back to sephora what the hell so this is how it looks maybe a little a little red i don't know a little red perhaps and um so let's let's get into it so this is it looks super red i'm not really sure but what the hell let's do this Okay, hold on, I might need to turn the AC off. Okay, I'm back. Um, I don't really know. On camera, it looks super, super red. But, um, I don't know. I mean, it feels very light it has like a water it's very light it feels like like a water i don't know i don't know how it feels like but it feels really light on the skin so this is it so like this set is buildable so i might try a little a second layer and see how that works it's a buildable coverage and i can still see some of my spots some of my skin so let's go for it again so i'm just going to build this up
to me it looks really 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 red What do you guys think? Close up. I don't know. It looks really red to me. So this is how it looks. And this is the shade 57Y. Um, I don't know what the Y is for. I know they have 50 in. I tried 50 in. It was really not my shade. 55 in, 65 P, um, and none of that worked. So this is how the foundation actually looks without setting anything, without concealer, with, without anything, without any powder. So this is how it looks. Sephora Better Skin, Best, uh, be, um, best Skin Ever Foundation in 57Y. And... Um, this is how it looks. I'm not really going to set it. I just wanted to do like a little, you know, a little review for you guys to see. And then maybe I'm going to set it off camera and then take a, take a couple of pictures and see and post them and see how it comes off. But this is how it looks. I'm not really sure if this is my shade. It looks really red. Even though it has like a yellow, I guess, undertone. But so this is how it looks. The Best Skin Ever Foundation 57Y. And um, tell me what you think. Leave your comments. Uh, maybe it's not my shade or maybe you, whatever shade you think I should try next, I could pick up another shade and you guys let me know. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you. See you later.